issue for Africa is not money. It is about the fact that they are countries that have purchased enough vaccines for 10 times their own population. There's been a hoarding of vaccines. I know the vaccines are there now, and I want our share now. Of vaccines, by the way, are available. It's all tied up in distribution contracts. That we, we are able to actually go and say to, to, to Europe, to Britain, to Canada, the United States, you have this contract which you don't need. Can you release some of that capacity to us so that we can also buy? Not that you can donate to us, so that we can also buy. The science was an extraordinary miracle. We got this vaccine out, boom, 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 boom. Okay, then everybody started to take control of their vaccine assets. Those who were producers, grabbed their production assets, put export limits. God help us if this is what we're going to do on climate change, because that's a lot harder. These institutions like the World Bank, IMF, they were there, but we did not approach them in the way that we at the African Union were able to do. And they have a deep understanding of how we work, how the continent work, and they've been an amazing partner. You know, they've mobilized the countries, they've expedited the processes, and we are shipping. We are shipping vaccines every single day now. So, so there is light at the end of the tunnel.